What are you doing, Turbo Girl? Drawing. My art teacher told the class to draw pictures using only straight lines today. Only straight lines? Yes, like vertical, horizontal, and diagonal straight lines. And I have to use them to form a picture. I see. Very interesting. Let me take a look at your picture. Very nice. You have drawn a house. Yes, there are some more things I need to add later. Hmm. Before you go on, can I borrow your drawing to teach today's lesson? Sure, but what are you going to teach me using it? You'll know later, Turbo Girl. I am going to draw two straight lines and name them AC and BD. Now, can you use a protractor to measure angle CBD for me? It is 90 degrees. Correct. If an angle measures 90 degrees, we call it a right angle. When two straight lines like AC and BD form a right angle, we say that they are perpendicular lines and we put a mark like this to show that they are perpendicular. In a symbol, we write it as AC perpendicular to BD. I see, teacher. Turbo Girl, are these perpendicular lines? No, teacher. Neither angle ABD nor angle CBD is equal to 90 degrees. Good. Now let me show you another pair of lines. Why do you show me a pair of arrows? No, Turbo Girl. These are not just arrows. These are parallel lines. The arrows tell us that AB and CD are parallel. Parallel lines? What are they? They are a set of lines that will never meet. Look at this pair of straight lines. We use the symbol to indicate that they are parallel and write it as this. Does it mean that any pair of lines that do not meet is parallel lines? Yes, you're right, Turbo Girl. Are these parallel lines then? I think they are not, because they will meet and touch each other at a point. Well said, Turbo Girl. I have learned what perpendicular lines and parallel lines are. Teacher, now can you give me some daily examples of perpendicular and parallel lines? That is not difficult. Many things around us are made up of perpendicular lines and parallel lines. The mathematics book in your bag, two opposite sides can form a pair of parallel lines. Any two adjacent sides of the book are perpendicular to each other. Also, the whiteboard in your classroom and your desk. And the set square in your bag. It has a right angle, so these two sides are perpendicular to each other. Wow, there are so many parallel and perpendicular lines around us. I got to find out more later. Here are two pairs of perpendicular lines. Are these the only ways that perpendicular lines can be drawn? Good question, Turbo Girl. Let me show you a few drawings and you tell me if you think they are perpendicular lines. Look at this set of lines first. Are they perpendicular? I think so. Now I'm going to show you how to check for perpendicular lines. Take out your set square. Place the right angle corner to the angle formed by the two lines meeting. If you see a right angle, line AC is perpendicular to line BD. I see. One more pair of lines for you to check if they are perpendicular lines. I need to use my set square to test. Well, since I can't find any right angles in both line AD and BC, I can conclude that lines AD and BC are not perpendicular lines. Very good, Turbo Girl. Now that you're familiar with perpendicular lines, we shall look at parallel lines that are drawn in different positions. You mean parallel lines can be drawn in different ways too? Yes, Turbo Girl. Look at this pair of lines. Do you think they are parallel? I think they are.
Is there any way we can check if they are parallel, like we did for perpendicular lines? There is a way for us to check that. We can use the set square again, but this time we need our ruler also. I'm ready. How are we going to do this? Simple. Just place your set square onto any one of the two lines, either PQ or RS. I choose PQ. Good. After you have placed the set square onto line PQ, you can now place the ruler on the side of the set square. Let me show you. After that, you need to slide the set square along the ruler down to line RS. If the side of the set square can be placed nicely onto line RS, then PQ is parallel to RS. I see, teacher. You try checking this pair of lines to see if they are parallel lines. First, I place my set square onto line CD. Then, place my ruler at the side of the set square, and I slide the set square towards line AB. So, what can you say about these lines? Well, AB is not parallel to CD. Good job, Turbo Girl. Turbo Girl, can you show us your drawing again? Here it is. Thank you. Now I'm going to name the corners from A to E. Why must we name them? We do so in order to help us name the parallel lines and perpendicular lines easily. I see. Now, from the picture, are you able to list out the perpendicular lines? Let me try. First, I am going to use my set square to find the right angles. That is a good start. Wow, there are four right angles in my picture. Well done. Now, can you list out the perpendicular lines? Okay, AB is perpendicular to AE. AB is perpendicular to BC. AE is perpendicular to CE, and BC is perpendicular to CE. Good job. Lastly, I want you to list out the parallel lines that are in the same picture. Okay. This time, I need to use both the ruler and the set square. Now, line AB is parallel to CE. EA is parallel to BC, but ED is not parallel to CD as they meet at the point D. Very well done, Turbo Girl. I have learned how to identify perpendicular and parallel lines. What else is there for me to learn? One last thing, you need to learn how to draw perpendicular and parallel lines. Sounds interesting. Get rid of your set squares and ruler, then, Turbo Girl. I have them here. Let me first draw a straight line, A. B. Can you draw a line that is perpendicular to AB and name it CD? Okay, I should use my set square. Place it onto line AB and draw the line CD. Very good, but you have not indicated the right angle BCD. Good. Can you write out the mathematics statement then? AB is perpendicular to CD. Good job. Let me draw you another straight line EF. Try drawing a line GH, which is parallel to EF. I have to place the set square on line EF and then place the ruler beside the set square and slide the set square along the ruler. I then draw the second line and name it GH. Finally, I add arrows to indicate that they are parallel. That is it. Very good. What have you learned today? I have learned how to identify perpendicular and parallel lines. Perpendicular lines will form a right angle where they meet, while parallel lines are lines that will never meet. Very good. How do you draw them? Well, to draw perpendicular lines, I need to use a set square. I have to place my set square on the given line and draw another line along the adjacent side of the set square. Such that these two lines meet to form a right angle. To draw a line of parallel lines, I need to use a set square as well as a ruler. First, I place my set square on the given line and place my ruler against the adjacent side of my set square. 
I then slide my set square along the ruler. Finally, I draw the second line. Very good, Turbo Girl. Off you go to complete your drawing. Goodbye, teacher.